Hey everybody, it's me again, Earth and Oracle, and I'm here to share some more information with y'all in regards to my podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm actually at a different location today. I'm at class. I'm at the Illinois Media School for audio and video production. They have a real good program. I love them. So feel free to check them out. You could Google it, Illinois Media School, and they give you the tools that you need to succeed in this industry. They teach you everything. Okay, so if y'all hear some noise in the background, that's just my classmates making magic. So I'm here today, y'all. I'm having a little nose problem only because of my allergies. It's crazy. I have hay fever. I've been dealing with this my whole entire life. It's only so much clarity that one could take. And I definitely don't like to take no Benadryl. That stuff make me feel like I'm underground while underwater at the same time. And of course, you're not going to be sneezing and coughing because you're going to be asleep. Don't you, like, I don't know if y'all ever took Benadryl before. It's so exhausting. It's such a downer. I hate that. Claritin with the D, that helps me. It helps me to at least breathe and I can taste. I got a little sneezing going on, but it's not as bad as it could be. I love nature. Nature just don't love me back. It's crazy. So what y'all got planned for today? Feel free to comment below. Still waiting on y'all to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate those that do and have. Thank you so much. Y'all making me go straight to the top, and I appreciate that. So just to piggyback off my podcast last night about our friend, your girl, the period. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she get on my nerves. Have y'all ever had to deal with the barbecue stage of the period oh my god that seemed like it'd be longer than the actual period itself that's when ain't nothing on your joint that you keep for protection ain't nothing in your joint that you keep for protection but when you wipe it's a little bit of something and it's really not even that deep but you could still see it i can't stand the barbecue stage so gross so irritating. I wish she didn't have to come. Like, why she can't just send us a text message? Like, girl, guess what? You're not pregnant. Turn up. See you next month. And start a comment, throwing stuff around, tearing stuff up, making leaks happen. All type of ridiculousness. I'm so sick of her. Y'all like my mood ring? Ain't it so cute? It's blue right now because I'm happy and I'm feeling good. I always like to wear my mood ring just so I can gauge my mood and see how I'm feeling during the day, especially when you've been around a lot of people. It's crazy, crazy. What music y'all like to listen to? I love all music. Country, rap, jazz, classical. I love R&B. I like techno. I even like some mosh pit, rock. Heavy metal, too. I listen to everything. As long as it sounds good, it's good. I remember one time one of my friends, Andrea, took me to go to the concert for Elton John, his Yellow Brick Road Tour. Oh, my God. It was the best concert I've ever been to in my life. That man, I don't even know how old he is right now, but I know he's definitely above his 60s. He could still play that piano good. He cold. Still, to this day, when he played my favorite song, Benny and the Jazz, we I was singing in the background. I couldn't wait. At the end of the, of the concert, he went up on a yellow brick road into the sky. I was crying. This lady was like, it's going to be okay. And I was like, no, it's not. We don't have nothing. We barely got good music. I'm going to miss him. And, of course, he didn't go nowhere. But still, I'm real dramatic. Y'all going to learn that. <laughs> Music affects me deep in my soul, personally. I love, love music, especially some good music. With the keys, the piano, I always want to learn how to play that. People that can play the piano or the keyboard, y'all are real MVPs. 
Y'all definitely make music what it is, okay? I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if somebody could give me some lessons on the keys, I'd be happy to give you some lessons on anything. You know, I'm all about positivity. I'm all about uplifting people and helping people to get through these trying times that we in right now in this world. Stuff is so crazy. And it's to the point where I'm kind of almost tired of reading about it. It's to the point where I barely watch the news. I try Try to keep all my current events together by Facebook, Twitter. I'm really not into the news thing because sometimes news outlets can have their own opinions and they try to sway you to feel certain ways about certain things. And I just don't feel comfortable with that. I hope that y'all can understand that. But I'm still trying to stay aware of what's going on around me. I even downloaded the Citizen app. I had to turn off the notifications, though, because it started to scare me with all the different violence and different acts, random acts of violence that happen in this city, the city of Chicago. It could be crazy. Let me tell you all about this one time. I was on my way to work. It was about 8 in the morning. I had to clock in at 9. I was working at the restaurant. Ooh, it is. That's a soul food restaurant on the south side of Chicago on 83rd and Wabash. It's a real nice restaurant. They got some real good food. Y'all should definitely check them out. Rewind. On my way to work, I'm on the phone with my best friend, just having the time of my life, drinking my coffee, enjoying myself. So, of course, there was a black man walking. He was actually running on the side of me. Now, me not being a Karen, I really didn't pay him no mind. I'm thinking, well, maybe this brother running for a bus or he trying to catch up with somebody. I don't know what he trying to do. But all I know is he was running past me. I'm going forward. He's running past me the other way. Something told me to turn around. So right when I turned around like this, why this man hit me in my face? Right here in my cheek. Swole my whole face up on this side. I didn't know this man from a can of paint. Insane. That's what I mean by random acts of violence. Turns out that I was the third woman that he attacked that morning. He attacked the four women that day. Um, the other women, they were all in their 40s and 50s. And I was blessed because he didn't black my eye. He didn't break my glasses and he didn't knock me out. I ain't gonna lie, I tried to run after him and catch him, but I'm clumsy. I tripped and I fell. Ended up spending coffee all in my face. It was such a hard morning that day. I'm not going to lie, I'm still suffering from PSD from that situation. I called the police at my job. They came. Of course, they thought it was somebody that I was dating or somebody I used to date. They didn't believe it was just a random person. Turns out they got 10 calls about that man that morning before I made the call. So I'm just wondering, what are the police doing to protect us? How are they really here to help us? I know a lot of times the police in my neighborhood, they just act like it's none of their business. Again, I'm sorry about my allergies and my nose, y'all. I'm so sorry. But this is me. I'm candid and I'm going to be honest. So, again, what are the police doing? How are they helping us? I got to know this. If y'all got 10 calls in the beginning of the morning before I even made it that way, why y'all didn't stop him then? They ended up not catching him till he got all the way to 79th and State. He hit me on 83rd and State. The other two women he hit on 87th and State. The last woman that he assaulted, he assaulted on 79th and State coming out of the gas station. And he said they actually made a news report about this man. That he decided that he was going to make sure that he get drunk and hit every woman that he see. And he was high off pills. Ain't no telling what kind of pill it was. It was just ridiculous. I'm so tired of this violence. I'm so tired of people that have issues. They finally locked the man up, but due to his mental illnesses, they let him out after the mandatory 72-hour hold. Now, this is the thing that I wonder. Why is he not getting the help that he needs. A lot of the mental institutions in Chicago have been shut down, and a lot of the places that are still open, they don't have that much space. Somebody got to help us. I need ideas, y'all. What can we do? Comment below.
Again, like and subscribe. I thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thanks for listening to me. And I'm going to try to get this allergy situation together. I already took my Claritin for the day. So I guess I'm going to have to drink me some tea or something. I don't know. But I'm still making it through this. Everything going to be okay. Thank God that it couldn't have been any worse than it already was. And I'm going to be okay. Y'all have a lovely day. Bye.